China's HQ-9B is shaking up the world of air defense like never before. Azerbaijan's decision to deploy it marks a turning point in how nations protect their skies. Once dominated by Russian and Western systems, this field now has a bold new leader, China. So, why is the HQ-9B changing global air defense forever? In this episode, we'll uncover its secrets, its rising influence, and the real reason countries everywhere are turning to it. The HQ-9B has taken the international defense market by surprise. What began as a domestic Chinese project to secure national airspace has evolved into one of the most exported long-range air defense systems of the decade. Azerbaijan's recent parade rehearsal in Baku confirmed that the system has officially entered service, marking the first time a nation closely aligned with Western defense partners opted for a Chinese long-range system over Russian or Israeli alternatives. This move didn't come out of nowhere. Azerbaijan, like several other countries, needed to replace its aging Soviet-era systems, mainly the S-300 PMU-2, which had served for decades but could no longer meet modern aerial challenges. The HQ-9B emerged as a cost-effective and technologically robust successor, capable of integrating seamlessly into Azerbaijan's existing multi-layered defense network, which also includes shorter-range systems such as the TOR, M2, and Barak-8. But Azerbaijan isn't alone. The HQ-9 BS list of international clients continues to grow. Pakistan was among the earliest adopters, taking delivery of its first batteries in 2021. For Islamabad, it represented the country's first truly long-range surface-to-air missile system, an upgrade that significantly improved its ability to monitor and secure its vast airspace. Algeria reportedly followed suit soon after adding HQ-9BS to its already advanced defense network that includes S-300 and S-400 systems. This combination made Algeria's system one of the most sophisticated in Africa and the broader Islamic world. By the mid-2020s, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan were confirmed to have received HQ-9B systems, replacing Soviet equipment and reflecting a clear trend across Central Asia. Countries long relying on Russian technology are now transitioning toward Chinese alternatives. Egypt joined the group next, reportedly acquiring HQ-9B units to modernize its limited air defense network. Analysts suggest that Egypt's decision was influenced by shifting regional dynamics and a desire for greater autonomy in its defense partnerships. So what makes the HQ-9B so appealing? Why are nations around the world selecting it over American, Russian, or Israeli systems? The answer lies in a balance of range, flexibility, resilience, and cost-effectiveness, a rare combination in this class of technology. At its core, the HQ-9B offers an engagement range of up to 250 kilometers, meaning a single battery can cover nearly 200,000 square kilometers of airspace. That's the equivalent of defending a small country with one system. Its radar offers full 360-degree coverage, ensuring simultaneous tracking of multiple targets from any direction. The system employs a cold launch mechanism, ejecting missiles vertically before ignition, allowing safe, rapid, and omnidirectional responses without the need to reorient the launcher. The HQ-9B also features multi-tier missile architecture, enabling it to intercept a wide variety of threats across different altitudes and ranges, from low-flying aircraft to high-altitude, fast-moving aerial targets. This multi-layered approach gives it adaptability similar to that of Russia's S-400, while analysts frequently rate it as significantly more capable than older systems such as the S-300 PMU-2 or the American Patriot Pac-3. Another key strength is its resistance to electronic interference. The HQ-9B has been tested under simulated electronic jamming and high-intensity electromagnetic environments, proving its ability to operate reliably under conditions that could disable less advanced systems. Beyond raw capability, the HQ-9B's interoperability with existing systems has been a game-changer. Many countries across Central Asia, the Middle East, and Africa still operate Soviet-origin radar and command infrastructure. China's engineers designed the HQ-9B with flexible interfaces, 
allowing integration without the need to rebuild an entire network from scratch. For nations trying to modernize efficiently, that's an enormous advantage. Finally, the system is evolving fast. In September 2025, China unveiled its next-generation variant, the HQ9C. This upgraded model reportedly features improved radar sensitivity, faster engagement cycles, and enhanced countermeasure resistance. For existing HQ9B operators, that means potential future upgrade packages rather than complete system replacements, extending lifespan and lowering long-term costs. In short, the HQ9BS success isn't a coincidence. It's the result of a well-calculated combination of technology, adaptability, and affordability, a blend that few others currently match. But its growing popularity isn't only about performance, it's also about power and influence, which brings us to our next section. The global expansion of the HQ-9B is not merely a technological trend. It represents a strategic realignment in the defense landscape. For decades, Russia held unrivaled dominance in the export of long-range air defense systems, with the S-300 and later the S-400 acting as its flagship offerings. But as the HQ-9B gains traction, that dominance is beginning to erode. The implications are profound. Every HQ-9B deal strengthens China's footprint in the defense networks of other countries, effectively expanding its global influence through hardware integration, training cooperation, and long-term maintenance contracts. This creates enduring ties that go beyond simple transactions. Once a country's air defense relies on Chinese systems, its operational doctrine, data sharing, and supply chains often follow suit. For nations like Azerbaijan, Turkmenistan, or Egypt, this diversification away from exclusive reliance on Russian or Western equipment brings newfound strategic flexibility. It allows them to maintain defense readiness without being caught between major power blocks. For China, meanwhile, each export success boosts its reputation as a trusted, advanced supplier capable of matching or surpassing established competitors. From an industrial perspective, this shift carries economic consequences. Russia's defense industry, long dependent on exports for revenue, now faces growing competition. In contrast, China's defense sector benefits from rising demand, steady foreign partnerships, and the global perception that its products are battle-proven through rigorous testing and real-world performance demonstrations. Moreover, the HQ-9B serves as a gateway system. Many of its operators have either purchased or shown interest in Chinese fighter jets such as the J. 10C or the JF-17 Block 3. The logic is simple. Integrating aircraft and ground-based systems from the same supplier simplifies training and network integration. This creates a full-circle ecosystem where China becomes the go-to provider for both offensive and defensive aerial technologies. As for what's next, the arrival of the HQ-9C variant suggests that China intends to maintain its momentum and continue innovating. Future clients may benefit from enhanced networking capabilities, faster reaction times, and smarter targeting algorithms powered by artificial intelligence. This evolution ensures that the HQ-9 series will remain competitive in an era defined by drones, stealth platforms, and precision-guided threats. Conclusion: The HQ-9B is more than a missile defense system. It's a signal of transformation. From Baku to Cairo, its presence represents a new era where advanced defense technology isn't limited to a handful of nations. As more countries align with China's defense ecosystem, the global balance of air defense power continues to evolve. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.